Hi folks, my perspective here, and in this clip we're going to have a look at a solar eclipse that was taken from an aeroplane, and the shadow of the moon moves across the aeroplane and the land. So we're going to have a look at this in slow motion. This is a clip that is on YouTube. Now this clip, look at the hotspot and look at the shadow. So what are you seeing? Do you see clearly? Look at the horizon. Look at the shadow and the length of the shadow. What are you seeing? You see, so let's analyze this. You see, this shows that we are not living on a ball. So for this to happen, for the solar eclipse to happen, remember the sun is 150 million kilometers away. This is what we are taught. The moon is slightly off that position, 5 degrees from the center. And so from the position of the airplane, the moon is orbiting the earth and blots out the sun. And these would have to be in line for the passengers of the airplane to see this happen. This is what we are taught. This is what we are told is happening. So the airplane must be somewhere near the Terminator line. We are told that the footage was taken northwest of Scotland near that area and therefore this, the, the moon will block out the sun. Right. But this is not what we see in the footage. You see, remember the people in the airplane, the passengers would have to see the moon block out the sun and the shadow of the moon would have to fall on the earth and the moon is orbiting so the plane is flying so in this instance the plane would actually be flying in the other direction but nevertheless just to get you an idea what is happening we see that the plane would have to be near the terminator line and, the, and slightly angled for the passengers to see the moon and the sun line up. So, from their position, how can the moon's shadow bend around the curve of the ball and go underneath the airplane? That's impossible. You see, the sun is fixed at the center of the Earth at 150 million kilometers away. The moon is 400,000 kilometers away. The shadow would go across the middle of the earth. And look at the shadows, how short they are. You see the hot spot and the shadow and the short shadows. It tells you it's flat. And that the sun and the moon are very, very close together. Look, pay attention. There's the hot spot and the shadow in the same frame of reference. So the moon blocks out the light from the sun. And as it passes the sun, look at the shadow. It's long and elongated. How is it possible if we are fl if we're on a ball Earth? So what we are seeing, the airplane is flying, the moon is orbiting, and the moon shadow falls underneath the airplane, and the shadow is long, elongated. You see the shadow from your position on the airplane right to the horizon. And you see the hotspot in the same frame of reference. The hotspots from the sun on the clouds. This footage clearly shows that the airplane is flying above a flat surface. So look at it again. Pay attention. See how the, the shadow is elongated? is completely underneath the airplane so the moon must be quite close to the light, the source of light because the hot spot and the shadow is in the same frame of reference from the passengers on the airplane so if we compare the two what you'd see on a ball if the plane was flying over a ball the shadow cannot extend around the curve of the ball physically impossible so the footage shows that the airplane is flying over a flat earth and it's as simple as that 
we're being lied to and our whole world that we've been told that we live in is a lie it's an illusion it's a deception we are living on a flat plane a flat level plane now if the sun was far away from the ball you see watch how the shadow would react look the shadows are short on the clouds the hot spot is underneath the sun and the shadow of the moon is long and elongated this tells us that the moon is a 3d object and it's orbiting with the sun above a flat earth the moon is not a hologram it is a solid flat object because a hologram cannot block out sunlight the moon is a solid ball orbiting with the sun over a flat plane we live on a flat earth and so the light source for it to cast a hot spot and a long elongated shadow must be very close 